All right, to start us off with John, we'll start with Seth Emerson and Anthony Dasher. I'm good, actually. Thanks. Hey, John, good to see you. Uh, JT told us, you know, after the game that he was told by Coach Moore, I guess it was last Monday, that he was going to get the start. When uh, you as a teammate heard that, did that, did that excite you? Was there a different buzz that was kind of going through? What was that like for you guys? I was excited to play with JT. Um, to be honest with you, I didn't, I didn't know of that conversation or any conversation. But since we rotate everyone, uh, everyone gets so many reps during the week, we were ready for whoever Coach Smart called upon. Um, because we work so hard in practice with each and every quarterback. So we're excited to have JT and he played. He did a great job. Thanks. Next we'll go to Chip Towers and then Mark Weiser. Yeah, John, obviously it, it was real hard to see the ball sailing downfield uh, on Saturday. I, I just wonder, you know, how that uh, – changes sort of your mindset as a tight end. Uh, do you feel like with JT at the controls now, really just, uh, just everybody has to expect to be more of a receiver? And obviously we've heard y'all talk about explosivity. Uh, what was that like to kind of see that uh, come to fruition? It was super exciting to see, you know, those big expl explosive plays. Um, but I wouldn't say any quarterback, it was quarterback dependent. I mean, it was, I think it was more of putting everything together um, the first six games or whatever, five games, you know, we were coming along. We hadn't put it fully together, but I think uh, against Mississippi State, we did put it together. We hit our deep shots, um, and that's exciting because it's going to open up more opportunities in the run game, more play action stuff. So it's exciting all around. John, I know South Carolina is very different from uh, the team you saw last year with, with some of their coaching changes and personnel changes, and, and Georgia's different too. But I, I wonder, uh, do you guys find motivation from, from you know, the, obviously the big upset loss last year? Is that something that, that you even need uh, in terms of motivation? Or, you know, how does that sit like a year later? Uh, it's definitely motivation. You know, we, we came into that game last year. We, we didn't play like we wanted to. Um, we laid an egg, and we didn't we – didn't, uh, do what we wanted to, and we're just going to come out this year, focus on us, uh, work hard this week of practice, um, and execute, play more physical, finish our blocks and stuff like that. Next, we'll go to Mike Griffith and then Austin Roper. Uh, yeah, John, you were saying you guys last year didn't do what you wanted to do. What, what, what was it last year you didn't do um, that, that's going to be different this year in your mind? I know you said you're going to play harder and focus. Were you guys not focused last year? I wouldn't say that. I just said I, – I just think we didn't connect on our plays like we wanted to. And I just think we're going to use this week to focus on ourselves, um, focus on tying up those loose ends in every facet of the game, run game, pass game, special teams, and we're going to go execute Hey, John, forgive me if, uh, if this is already going to ask. My Wi-Fi was cutting in and out um, a few minutes ago. But uh, so last Saturday, obviously, there were a lot more explosive plays um, than, you know, in the games before that. Going into the game with JT at quarterback, knowing that he can, you know, he can really throw it deep, was that something that was a part of the game plan to kind of try to get more explosive plays in, in, in weeks past? Or was it just how the game unfolded? I think it was how the game unfolded and, you know, the coverages that were given to us. Uh, we have deep shots every week, you know, that we're, we want to take. And um, we've been coming along the first five weeks or so. Um, and it's just a matter of connecting. And that night against Mississippi State, we were connecting. We were doing just that. Uh, next, we will go to Connor Riley, then Brandon Sudge. Hey, John, traditionally Georgia and Georgia Tech have played this weekend, and you being an Atlanta guy, is it weird at all that you're not playing Georgia Tech this year, or are you really just focused on playing South Carolina this weekend? You know, uh, it's weird. I mean, it's one of our biggest rivals, but obviously, and most importantly, um, the next game, which is South, South Carolina, is the most important. Um, so that's where our focus lies. Hey, uh, John, I want to ask you about a couple of uh, receivers. Um, so with Kyrus, I mean, being a guy who's been that leader over the last couple of years, um, how excited are you all as teammates for him to get these touchdown catches and get these opportunities? And then on uh, Jermaine, I mean, 
like, have y'all seen that in practice from him all along to have that kind of breakout, I guess he did at the other night? First off, um, I'm super excited for Kiaris. He's one of the hardest working kids on our team. He works his tail off every day in practice and summer workouts and winter workouts even before that. And uh, I'm super excited to see all the success he's had this year. And then for Jermaine, um, you can tell he's a great player from the moment he got here. He's flashed early on in the season. And similar to our offense, it's been a matter of putting it all together, which I think he did um, against Mississippi State. He did, he did amazing. So it was, it was nice to see. Uh, next, we'll go to Paul Newberry and then Palmer Toms. John, um, I just want to ask is, uh, you know, obviously with what we saw from, from JT on Saturday night, kind of a, a lot of fans are out there, you know, wondering might have what if, if he'd have been healthier earlier or gotten a shot earlier. Do y'all, uh, do you sort of after that game look back and go, wow, what, what, what could this season have been <clears throat> if he'd have been available or if we'd have put him in there a little bit sooner? No, I don't look at the season like that at all. Um, Coach Smart, Coach Munkin are going to put us in the position to win. And, um, you know, there are, co there are coaches for a reason. So whatever they say goes, and um, we fully support them 100%, and we're going to do what we can as tight ends. Receivers are going to do what they can as receivers, L-line and so forth, to go out and win ball games. John, you said earlier in this conference that you said that the focus this week is going to be on y'all. How much is y'all a focus for the rest of the season, especially given the fact that y'all are out of, you know, likely out of SEC championship contention and, and playing for not a playoff position? Well, first off, you never know what's going to happen um, these last weeks of the season. So, you know, play every game um, to the best of your ability because you really don't know what can happen. and then focus on ourselves. I mean, there's so many things we can be better in. And like I've said a few times, we can put it all together and we're going to, we want to keep doing that. 